All right, this the first one we can actually fight on the on the Durandal. So we're gonna go to the Durandal really quick. I think this one is hard. I think this one is is, in my opinion, the harder of the two super bosses. But also the more fun of the one. more fun of the two. No, I don't know that going to the Kukai Foundation. Not yet. The other super bosses are the Kukai Foundation. Anyway, what you want to do is go into the residential area and make sure Junior's in your party and that he's the and he's the lead character. So let's do that now. Being at around level 30 for this is do is is Highly recommended for this for this super boss fight. For actually for both super boss fights, being around level 30 for the end game is recommended. These super boss fights in general, because both of them can be pretty rough on lower levels. So now we have to go in one particular room. I, need to, I just need to remember which room it is. And almost all of them are the same. I am up. Is it this one? Oh, and obviously save before doing any of this. Yep! Who do you have here? Boy, gunman, you know what awaits you if you're defeated in a gunfight, boy? You still dare to challenge me? Bring it on! Well, this should be someone entertaining. Time to die, boy! Superboss, Great Joe! This is no ordinary force. Everyone, be careful! He'll only appear if... Well, he'll only appear if, um... Junior is in the lead party, and you'll blow up that door with him. You can find him any time you want to. So this is Great Joe. I believe it was a reference to Big Joe from uh, Xenogears. Yeah. Big Joe, er, Great Joe has a lot of nasty attacks. That one attack he just did on Chaos is pretty rough. And again, he has a swimsuit on, so that's kind of expected. I'll be happy if you attack Shion, uh, she's got the bracelet on. Right now I need my health up though, and cause I don't, cause uh, boosts, boosting right now, I don't like that. He has a bunch of nasty all hitting attacks, one in particular which is very devastating. Kick! Counter boost. Shion is so dead. Mention Great Joe's voice is hilarious. Very nice. Or you can go for chaos. Kick you! Very nice, Chaos. Very nice. Gambler! Ether attack. That's just a basic ether attack. Shoot people dead. Alright, let's steal from him for a while, while I have the chance. Don't worry, Shion. I'll bring you back. And we get yet another swimsuit. Okay, go for Junior, so I can heal the party. KICK YOU! Ow. 
can see that kick. Yeah, that kick is rough. It doesn't help that both of these guys have swimsuits on. Now our junior can have one too. Well, I'm probably gonna take the swimsuits off for the next uh, super boss fight. Woo! Chaos saw the glint in that teeth, and he was like, "Fuck this, dodging." Whoa! Counter boost. And as you can see, as you saw, he has 9,999 base HP. Pretty fancy that. Let's try out a rain blade, huh? Eh? See how that does. Uh, that didn't do much. Disappointing. Oh, time for the double buster to work. Very good in, com in combination with the. Uh, oh, here we go. Heart shot punch. This causes curse status. A prison for you. Get rid of that curse status. While all characters afflicted with curse, any damage they incur was distributed to the rest of the party. So, yeah, you want to get rid of that immediately. Gambler. Pew! Nice. Throw in a medical all. Because this guy can do that special all hitting attack like anytime he wants to. Sometimes without warning. So it's best to keep your health up because that can do loads of damage. That didn't do loads of damage, so I guess I'll be sticking with, uh, what was it? Archer Blast. I feel my Archer Blast! Well, Shion's building up her, uh, Tipper. Which is very nice. Very handy to have extra boost, just in case. Boosting. Here! Eat an Angelic Requiem! Compliments of Chef Junior! And for dessert, we're having Storwalt Surprise! Pew! He's boosting crap on a stick, that's bad! Is boosting the bad news. You know what? No. Medical. Unleash some of my powers. We're using like a Medicaid DX or something, but fuck that. I don't care about my AP. I've got plenty of ether packs. <laughs> Gambler. I can take a gambler. Yeah, punch. He's counter boosting. I don't like it when he does that. Oh. 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 Not bad. Here it comes. Soul Crusher. This is the one of attack I'm talking about. Ow! 
<laughs> As you can see, that rapes. That rapes. Oh my god, that rapes. So yeah, it does about 550 damage to the party on a critical. Fortunately, we have more HP than that as, as max, so that's pretty handy. I'm gonna sling an ether pack the Junior's way. Have at you, boy. Landing combination attack. This is where you hit him with a physical attack. Now, do it now. 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 Because once he started to plan his combination attack, he he's vulnerable to physical attacks. Proposing combination attack, bloodlust, and this is where he, things get nasty. He gives himself his focus physical attack status. If you got this, dispel it. He does heart shot punch and a regular physical attack to go with that. And with focus physical attack, that's bad! That's probably gonna guarantee a kill. Take Especially on two characters with swimsuits. That's bad! That's pretty bad. On the plus side, thank you Angel Ring for e for EP medical all, hell yeah! I'll gladly take that, thank you very much. Oh boy. Spur kick! Ow. He's well halfway dead. Counter boost. As you can see, he loves the counter boost. As well, both super bosses do, but Great Joe in particular. Gambler. Hey. Alright, next turn I'm gonna fling a boost she owns so sure she can get so she can get one up. It like uses her heal the party or something, I don't know. Probably gonna counter boost though, that's never good. God, I love the double buster. <laughs> Here, eat up. Ow. And now for a party heal. Hey, you with the gun. How about you and me dance, boy? At this point, he he's playing on having Junior and Great Joe have a duel. Anyone else attacks, he'll just respond with a counter boost and a counter attack. Fuck it, I don't wanna attack him. Ready? This effect will last until he's about about, or about several turns, or he's about quarter way dead. Or a quarter way from death. No outside interference! 
See? He responds with a gambler. Come to me, giant top! This only costs 80 p now. Sword! Counter boost. Ow. Alright. Go for it. Oop! I should try Mystic Nocturne and see if that is anything better. Because I still have yet to power up Angelic Requiem. Let's heal. Just be cautious. Because once the duel is over, he has something else, something special planned. I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm gonna guard. Oh, very nice. Oh, oh! <laughs> so hilarious. This duel was over. I'll destroy you all at once. Recovery and damage reversed? This is where he this is where he uh, has a random 50% uh, chance of casting reverse on himself. If he casts reverse, oh baby, you just hit the mother load. If he hasn't, well the fight's still gonna go its regular place. Oh god. And now he casts Cerebration. Which is focus ether attack. His next attack is guaranteed to be Soul Crusher. Much like Bloodlust. Some of thy power. Much like Bloodlust, get rid of this status immediately, or this boat or the Soul Crusher is probably going to kill you. Very nice. There it is. Soul Crusher. <sighs> that is just uh, ether flare. Nice. That is still just very ouchy. I still, I'm getting through this with no real negative repercussions. I'm actually kind of surprised. Let's see if we can finish this on a high note, so... Let's see if we can finish this on a plus point thing. So we get a, like a ton of fucking points for this. Here comes another one! Soul Crusher! All medical all again, just to taunt, just to rub it in his face. I'm, I'm a mean person, I know. Only fitting to have Junior finish him. Oh! 
Nice! Double the points. Right, Woohoo! There goes Great Cho! Cheer levels up. And we get quite a number of tech points. And ether points and skill points. Wow, 6,000 experience. Very nice. I lost. I let my guard down, but still, that was some gunmanship. You're a man worthy of calling a friend. I'll give this to you as a token of our friendship. You get Junior's ultimate tech attack, I believe. Solar Rhapsody. And learn the Ether Magnum Joe. Farewell, my friend. I won't trust that swimsuit to you for now. As you see, he gives it to you if you beat him or steal either way. So yeah, Junior's now totally fucking decked out. Hmm. <laughs> You can evolve Magnum Joe to become Buster Joe. Magnum Joe and Buster Joe. Magnum Joe allows uh, allows to summon Great Joe and he'll inflict and he'll use Gambler on one particular enemy. Or Buster Joe will allow for Junior to summon Great Joe and use Soul Crusher on every on the entire enemy party. Very nice. Uh, Ether Flare, so I can put Magnum Joe on. <laughs> As for that Solar Rhapsody we just got, one enemy line spirit, a gun that absorbs Gnosis types. Now right, let's set it. There we go. Solar Rhapsody. Gonna be handy in the next fight. Because you're gonna be in that. I uh, just remembered. Uh. Shion. Girl, as much as I'd love to see you in a bikini, not now for this next fight. I need you in actual armor. Speaking of armor, I gotta buy some. Actually, do I want her in armor? No, no, never mind, never mind. The next boss isn't... I'm pretty sure the next boss doesn't actually even use physical attacks. Only ether attacks.